Hey guys, this is Fabrizio Romano and as always we are here together for a new YouTube video and today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Thanks to NordVPN for always making sure my data is protected in over 60 countries, sharing transfer news with you guys with fast and secure connections no matter where I am. Accessing the news from all over the world first hand, NordVPN enables me to watch football matches from all over the world whilst protecting my devices. So get your exclusive deal by going to nordvpn.com slash here we go to get a huge discount plus one month for free. There is no risk with NordVPN 30 days money back guarantee. The link is in the description below. Here we go. And so the welcome is already done guys and it's time today to discuss about Manchester United because we have many updates, many stories and one is an exclusive important update on this guy Tyrell Malassia, the left back of Feyenoord Let me explain you this crazy situation. On the weekend, it was Friday, Lyon, Olympique Lyon, found a verbal, total verbal agreement with Feyenoord for Malasia. The deal was almost uh, completed for 12 million euros plus 3 million euros add-ons. So a package of 15 million euros with potential add-ons, as I mentioned, included. It was a verbal agreement, not signed yet on player side and on club side. They were preparing the contracts, they were preparing the documents, so everything was done between Lyon and Feyenoord, but not signed yet because some English club was trying to enter into the story. One of these English clubs were West Ham. West Ham, during the weekend, had a conversation with Tyrell Malasia agents and with Feyenoord. They were exploring this possibility. But on player side, he was still waiting to complete the deal with Lyon. So this is why Lyon were pretty relaxed to complete the negotiation. But what happened? Today, on Tuesday, Manchester United jumped into this story. Manchester United, while I'm speaking, they are trying to hijack the Tyrell Malasia move to Olympic Lyon. Let me say that it's very advanced with Lyon, so Manchester United will need to be fast and to improve the proposal to more than 15 million euros, but he's a player that could be a solution for my United. We say it many times that they're looking for a fullback. And so Malasia could be an option. We know that he is Dutch and so Eric Ten Hag knows him so well. He knows him so well, of course, from Eredivisie with, uh, with Feyenoord. It's also important to say, and it's not a detail, that Tyrell Malasia has same agents of Frankie de Jong. It's the same agency. Same agency also of Donny van de Beek, same agency also of uh, Lindelof, so they know very well Manchester United, but same agents as Frankie de Jong. This is not a detail because the conversations with these agents are ongoing, of course, for Frankie de Jong and now also for Tyrell Malasia. So this could be also a message for Frankie de Jong deal. What's going on on Frankie de Jong, guys? Well, we wait for uh, Malasia to understand if it will be completed with Lyon or if May United will be able to hijack this move. It's important to say that for Frankie de Jong, as I mentioned here also on the channel yesterday, guys, the new verbal proposal from Manchester United made during the weekend, so it's not made now, but during the weekend and then discussed on Monday is 65 guaranteed million euros plants add-ons, there will be add-ons in this negotiation to bring the deal to potential package of 85 million euros. So 65 guaranteed and 20 in add-ons. This is what Barcelona and Manchester United are discussing. Let me say that it's really close, the agreement between the two clubs. Really, really close. Manchester United are really optimistic to complete everything really soon with Barcelona for Frankie de Jong agreement between clubs. But they still need to discuss some details on the structure of the deal. You can understand by yourself that it's not an easy one with the don'ts when it's not just two or three million with the don'ts, but it's 20 million. So they need to decide how to activate this money in the future, in how many years, in what kind of details of the don'ts they want to include in a deal. So they're discussing on the structure of the deal, and this is why it will take some time before it will be completed, but they are discussing on a total amount that they are set to agree for 85 million euros add-ons included. And this is positive for my United. But it's now time to close the negotiation with Barcelona and then to discuss with Frankie the Young agents, but they are already in talks with the agents because they are the same agents of Tyrell Malasia. So it's a domino for Manchester United market now. It's a key moment to understand what happens, of course, with Frankie and then with Malasia. We know that Frankie has always stated that he wants to stay at Barcelona, so my United will need a very good proposal on the contract side to complete this Frankie the Young negotiation also on player side and not just, of course, on club side. So work in progress for my United. Many things happening, guys. I will keep you posted, but 
Malaysia news and Frankie de Jong negotiation, important things going on at Manchester United. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Malaysia story, on this Frankie de Jong update. I wait for you as always here in the comments, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We are more than 1 million here, guys. And also remember to turn on the notification bell. You can see how many news we have every single day. So to keep you posted here on the channel, as always, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and see you soon with Fabrizio.